Hi guys, welcome back to an episode of DB Cast and in today's episode, I'll be reviewing GetGo Lexus RX 300. Let's dive straight to this video right now. Alrighty, so yeah, here is the Lexus RX 300 from GetGo itself. Upon first inspection wise, there isn't any obvious damage to this car other than maybe some curved uh, wheels on the passenger side itself, which is, as you can see, there's some right here, here, and maybe the front as well. So, yeah, I think there's one right, uh, right here itself. So, yeah. Uh, and that overall car condition wise look quite clean itself so yeah nothing much to comment about the overall damage just just the curved rims but and that is overall a very very nice car itself uh, so yeah now let me just next challenge i have to got to do is show you guys the trunk if i could do that and not hit that but let me just give you guys a brief history on the rx300 itself so basically if you guys didn't know uh that is a leaf so yeah basically if you guys didn't know this is uh i will in my opinion i would call it this is the much better version of the toyota harrier itself uh. so yeah it's basically lexus is the most it's the better version of toyota itself so hence in my opinion i think this is a better version of the harrier so yeah but uh let me just show you guys the trunk space now so you got this very nice partial shelf which you could drop down you just pull it back up so it is how it look, look like without the load cover itself uh. so if you want to put the load cover yes, this is the place where you can lock it in position which you guys saw just now itself so but i think if you want to remove it to, to remove that load spacing to put taller item then you could do so but i don't think there is a space to do it so probably you got to leave that stuff at home itself so yeah but overall trunk space wise is enormously big itself so if you could see person or test drive it you will definitely know what i'm talking about i think you could put two big suitcases here or or even an extra large suitcase inside here and it wouldn't be any problem itself so yeah uh, right down below here you just get some spare tire which this car unfortunately doesn't have and some just menu right here itself let me see what you have yeah owner's menu and some more uh, miscellaneous junk that they throw right here where it's supposed to be at the front which i'll show you guys later on itself but uh overall this is how it looks like that so if, if you guys want to have more space you could remove the look this thing right here which i'm not going to do so and you could pull down the rear seat itself by pressing the so you guys can see it's going down by pressing on the, this button right here going down very slowly and do the other seat also can do the other seat itself yeah see So uh, yeah, it's just basically going down right now and this is how the load spacey looks like for this car once you have if you uh once you fully fold down the rear seat itself. So yeah. Alright, um oh yeah. Since I'm now in the passenger side, let me just show you guys another thing which uh let me just put back the seat up if I could do so, which is the other way by pressing the top button down for the down button itself so yeah let me just do the other one as so, well so see the seat is doing its magic very nice itself so yeah and if you want to have uh let's say you want you do not want to fold down the rear seat but you want to have uh, more space in the the cargo compartment you could do so by pressing this so, oh no, sorry. Uh, if you don't want to press on that button, we are sorry. Early on, you can just press on this seat button and you'll fold down the rear seat itself. But for the meantime, let me just close this up right now. So, we you could do so just by pressing this right here itself. So, and I have to get that out of my way. And that's how it, it looks like. So, yeah, same for the rear seat now. Just need to hold this I need to hold it up so yeah I think technically you could yeah if you uh the man, the point which I mentioned earlier on where you want you want to have more rear cargo space itself is unfortunately you got to got you got to do this manually itself which I can show you guys that right now so by putting on this lever right here itself you could actually slide forward or slide backwards itself so yeah and Real car, real passenger comfort. I would say is seriously on 
another level itself. Lah. So basically you got more than I think two feet of late room itself. Headroom wise also not that bad. Lah. About one and a half I say. Yeah, about one and a half of headroom wise itself. So yeah. And also this is really ex excluding including the sunroof which come with this car itself, which is a very very nice touch itself. Um moving on, what else do we get? Well, you get real lighting for the car itself which you guys can press to turn on and turn off and you also get real sun, sun shade if you do not want the sun to be coming into the car itself so yeah which crap put on to this on either side itself so yeah um moving on you got real ac vent right here itself which you could adjust and i think this should be real seating the real seat heating there isn't any ventilation seat for the rear itself, only got heating. Uh, rear, yeah, rear seated, heated seat in the rear itself, that's what I say. So, yeah, got 12 volt socket outlet right here and some space right here itself. So, yeah, other than that, that's probably it for the center part right here. Moving on, you got even more stuff. Which, if you want to put your drinks, you could do so by pressing on this button. Got very nice cup holder. Let me see what this shit right here. Oh, rear storage space seat. Uh, uh, rear storage option for if you want to put your stuff right here. If let's say you do not want to put it in the door bin right here itself, but I think door bin might you need to put your drinks itself. Right? So yeah, um, yeah, that's probably. Oh yeah, uh, that's probably it for the rear itself. Now I'll be showing you guys the three sitting. She wrote basically the uh, center seating option, which you guys I have to mention. Uh, one good thing about this car is the, the the transmission tunnel isn't that big itself or that huge, so you've got a very smooth floor itself, which you could sit three people comfortably. I think it's, right now I'm sitting in the center of the car itself, and basically, um, if someone were to sit beside me on the left and either on the right. I would say there isn't any problem or cost. The rear comfort is just simply amazing itself. Lah. So yeah. And also uh one more thing to add on is for the drive handle if you guys notice, usually for this they will do in like plastic itself. But for Lexus itself or for this car itself, it, it I would say it's somewhat wrapped in leather itself, which is even more give you the luxurious vibe itself. So yeah, so yeah, basically that's one thing I really like about this car. Um, other than that, I think that's all I'd say for the rear of the car itself. You got door handles right here, finished in chrome. You got some kind of wood. You could somewhat see the wood finishing on the car itself, which is a very very nice touch. You got window switches right here, speakers, and even more speaker right there at the bottom itself. Some rear storage space seat. Uh, rear storage option if you want to put behind the seat and that's probably it basically the rear of this car in, in summary if you guys want to hear the short and sweet form I'll say this car is loaded in the rear seriously it's one of the best rear seat I have seated in this car by far itself so yeah other than that let's move on to the front now which is the driver zone itself so this is how the front looks like, like if anyone wondering but other than that let's dive straight to the front of the car right now all right then now jumping out of the car isn't a big issue because the doors open quite wide itself and that's a good thing and also if you guys notice the right height is also quite high up which uh that's one thing you have to notice for suvs wise i think this is the highest ground clearance that i noticed for this car so far itself so yeah and that now let me just show you guys the front of the car itself so yeah, basically this is the front of the Lexus RX 300 itself. As you guys can see, a very, very nice modern Lexus interior itself. So yeah, let me just show you guys the storage option you get for the front of the car itself. Basically, you got one storage option right here itself, which by right, this should have the driver's manual and everything right here itself. But I think the people somehow decided just dumping at the back itself. So yeah, and also another thing we guys noticed, if you guys can feel this right here itself, this is literally covered, it is finished, it's, how, do I, how do I say it? It's basically covered in this kind of material that usually would be finished in, normally for low compartment, they will do it in plastic, they won't really get the full effort itself, but for uh, Lexus itself, they put it in this somewhat like Alcantara feeling material itself in the low compartment, which is something on another level itself. So yeah, but and that, that's one, option, third option you can put for in this car 
the second one is right here itself you guys can see third one is a small one which you could put your maybe a receipt right here and a pen right here for reference so yeah and so that and also technically this is, uh technically this is also act as an armrest tool for your navigation thingy on the screen itself like. so yeah but uh that i'll show you later on when i turn on the car itself but overall oh yeah and also the last your last touch option which you could put your stuff is right deep down there itself like. so yeah but yeah basically overall the car storage option the storage on this car is simply just on another level is and on another sorry on another level that i've never seen before itself like. so yeah uh now let's move on to the next part which is the center console itself center console itself is very very simple if you guys know your lexus itself but if you do not like me uh it's very very simple you got your two ac vent right here itself you got this very nice clock right here itself tell you guys what time is it i think this is based like on you basically see on basically you see this clock on all the high-end german cars itself like mercedes i don't think audi and bm they do it but i know mercedes they definitely do it but it's a smaller kind lexus is, is Lexus, they do it a much bigger time, make it more easier to read the timing on the on the car itself. So yeah, uh, right down below you got header light switch, you got your FM and AM tuner right here, and your volume button on the the other side. You got play pause right here. This is for your basically these three buttons is to adjust your frequency on this car. You got your radio button right here to your shortcut key to go to the radio and your media itself this is to eject the whatever thing you put inside this cd drive or dvd drive itself so yeah uh right down below here you got your ac controls on either side of the car you got a dual climate control your fan speed right here this is turn off the fan this is your auto climate control and right down moving on right down to the bottom right here itself got your uh, with circular air itself and to direct airflow into the car itself or if not you can actually technically let the car do it automatically itself which i don't think i see any other car done that before itself so yeah uh moving on you got your this is basically to adjust how the airflow is going to be blowing at you you got front defrost and your rear defrost and another thing which i don't think you see on uh other cars so far i, I driven you got your uh mirror defroster switch right here which defrost the mirrors on rainy days itself which i think come quite useful itself like. so yeah uh other than that that's basically all the buttons on this center console itself you got 12 volt socket outlet right here itself and this you also got this very nice small thing right here which you got your not too sure, i think this is for your sd card or micro sd card right here itself which you could insert right inside here so yeah very very nice thing um that's probably it oh yeah seems like also this has wireless charging for this car itself so yeah another good thing uh moving on you got your seat heating for the passenger and the driver uh you got your heating right here and your sorry you got your seat heating right here itself and your seat cooling on either side in my opinion so far it's tested out on the driver's side i would say the seat cooling is not really that strong compared to the high end corner hybrid which i driven which i driven way back i feel this could be much better because it's a lexus it's supposed to be better than competitors but it seems like the seat cooling is quite weak on this car itself yeah quite weak on this car itself so yeah uh moving on you got your handbrake right here itself and you got your auto uh this is basically like auto stop start you know not stop start it's basically to hold the brake itself like so yeah basically if you're at the traffic light if you do not want to press on the brake you can press on that and the car will hold it for you itself you got your gear selector right here itself and you got your this is basically to adjust the uh, navigation screen itself which i'll show you later on itself you got your mode selector right here itself and your traction and turn off your stop start and that that's basically it for this car itself like so yeah now let's move on to the next part which is the wheel itself on the lexus itself basically to turn on a car you got a start stop button right there itself which you could press by by sorry you could turn on by pressing the start button right there itself like. so yeah to start it just for the brake and press it and it'll turn on all right then so yeah moving on from the start stop button itself you got the all the button on the steering wheel itself and so on the stocks to explain to you guys that uh basically uh let me just share like the stock itself so basically you got your window sorry your stock for your wipers itself for the front itself just they still just need to pull on this all the way down and activate 
for the rear wiper itself, just need to put on this and you see the the rear FT doing its thing. So yeah. Um to wash the windscreen wiper just need to pull back on this and the windscreen wiper will wash the windscreen itself. For the okay, so basically that is all for the windscreen thing itself. Now let me just show you guys the next thing which is the stock itself. So for the stock itself is very very simple. You got your indicators right here itself. You got uh indicators to indicate left or right, just need down or all the way up. Headlights is just pulling on this lever, this stock right here itself. So yeah. Uh so basically that is it for this all the stock on the car itself. Now let me just show you guys the next thing which I really want to show you guys is all the buttons on the wheel itself. Uh, so basically on the button itself you got your uh volume switches right here itself. This to adjust the infotainment right there itself. You got a mode switch is also for basically all this button right here on the left hand side is to adjust the infotainment itself. So yeah. Uh and the same goes for this if let's uh the same goes for sorry. My bad. My apologies. Uh, basically now on the right hand side for this screen right here, which I'll show you guys later on when I turn on the car itself. Uh, which I, I think I already turned on, but I turned off again. So just to save some view. Um, so basically this is all for the small screen right there, which I'll show you guys later on. You've got your cruise controls button right down below here itself, which is very, very simple to use. You just need to set the speed on this by pressing this button and pressing this by, and leaving it up. Pressing, lifting the lever upwards itself to increase speed or going down to reduce speed itself. Uh, moving on, you got this button right here to adjust the steering wheel itself, which you could do so when the car is turned on, which, which is very, very simple itself. Uh, so, uh, which I'll show you guys later on when the car is turned on itself. Uh, moving on, you got this button which is hidden behind the wheel itself, which is not, not really that obvious to see if you really were to be looking for it. You got your odometer trip button right here itself and you got your uh basically these buttons right here to just the the gauge brightness itself on the car itself so if you guys want a more brighter gauge you can just press on it itself or dimmer just press on this itself so yeah very very simple and easy to use uh next up you got your two buttons right here itself which is you got your heads up display right here itself and also to open up the trunk from the driver's side if let's say you, you do not want to get out of the car very very simple itself uh itself like so yeah now let's move on to no uh okay sorry now let's move on to another small cubby space right here which i don't think many people will notice is this right here if i have to press this button right here itself you got another cubby space right here for the for yourself to put your stuff right here if you want to and right down below here you got the engine release hood but lever right here itself so yeah this is probably it for this car itself. Uh. So yeah, now let's move on to the window switches right here itself. Window switches basically you got your left and right mirror, you got your auto folding mirror itself. This is to lock and unlock the car. This to prevent people from rolling on the windows and you got your all four window switches right here itself. So yeah. Uh and you got your basically this is all the buttons for the driver zone. Now let's move on to the next thing which is you got memory seat function itself, which you could actually save your memory uh the seat memory on this car so itself let's say if this was a privately owned car itself you could actually set it save it for three people or three different settings itself like. so yeah basically i think to do so you just need to press on you just adjust it to a to your liking then press set then press one itself like. so yeah other than that that is all for the car itself now let's move on to the next thing which i didn't show you guys is this big ass glove compartment itself which i can do so but uh, to open up there's not really much space itself but you guys can see that is one huge ass storage space right here which i think you could put a bottle inside here and more miscellaneous junk right here itself uh. so yeah um but other than that that is oh yeah before i turn on and show you guys the, the gauges itself now let me, uh, let me just show you guys one uh, last few bits on this car itself you got which is you got sun visor right here which is a very very nice sun visor with a mirror and you also got oh yeah before i show you guys the panoramic roof function you got this uh i think you guys know usually for sun visors itself you would normally expect them not be wrapped in alcantara or anything it will probably finish in leather itself but for this car wise uh for the lexus itself which i mentioned just now on the grab hood itself which is somewhat wrapped in leather this is also finished in 
a very nice soft touching material which I really like and it's really out of this world so I never experienced something like this before itself so yeah and that it ends the same for the passenger side as well so yeah uh, now next up we got the next thing which I want to show you guys is this switches right here itself we got this right now so this basically when the door is open the light will turn on but if you do not want the light to turn on itself you can actually just press on this and it will turn off but I'll just leave it on so yeah and if you let's see on the, the lights on either side you just press on it and the lights will turn on so yeah it's very very nice touch itself so yeah and also you got space to put your sunglasses if you want to so yeah uh now i'll show you i need to turn on the car and show you guys the panoramic sunroof itself and also show you guys the infotainment wise itself so yeah let me just close the door let me just turn on the accessory power if i could do so uh, very very nice startup screen let me see if I could do this with the accessory power. Nope, I can't. Basically, got to turn on the car itself. So, yeah. So, uh, now the car is fully turned on itself. Uh, right now, the panoramic sunroof is, is the shade is fully uh, open. If you want to close it, I'll show you later on. But let me just show you how to operate the glass itself. So, to operate the glass itself, just need to pull on this on the left hand side. Just pull on this. And you open itself so very nice open if you want someone you can just oh that's the max that's the maximum you can go itself so if i close it you can just adjust it just, just press it if you press and hold it will just close everything but if you just one touch then you, will, you can adjust it to according how forward the last you want it to be itself and next up is to close the shunt straight just press on this same thing just if you just press press it will just be like if like one touch press, it will just adjust to a quality liking. But if you press and hold, it will just fully close everything itself. So yeah. Now it just close by itself. And voila, this is how it looks like without the glass being exposed itself. So yeah. Alright then, now let me just show you guys the infotainment screen itself, which is extremely big. I think it's the biggest infotainment screen that I've seen so far on this car itself. So yeah. So yeah, basically to adjust it, just you there, I'll just go to menu first, and this is what you can see. Then just using just hold, using this mouse itself, which is a bit of getting used to because it's very thin, very sensitive itself. So yeah, basically uh, let me just oh yeah to select just press down on it. So yeah, so basically yeah, got a lot a lot of things you can learn from this car itself. So. Which I'm not going to go into in that, but if you guys want to learn more about it, you can actually rent this car, which I will put the location that down below in the description box. But other than that, that's all for the infotainment itself. So yeah, that's all. Now I'll show you guys this small screen right here itself. So to adjust this small screen itself, just need to press on this button, and it will just go accordingly. Then just move on to this button right here itself it's not like the mercedes where you could adjust it with your gesture you, ne you literally need to press on the the button itself to go through all the settings itself uh. so yeah it's something that you used to so it maybe it's like renting a short hours probably you won't experience the full car full potential but if it's renting for long hours then probably you will learn you get used to all the car features itself uh. so yeah and also this car also has front camera itself so let's say you are not too sure whether you're going to hit a motorcycle right there you can estimate the camera will actually pop up and show you guys how close to the the motorcycle you are same goes for the rear itself the the let me just show you guys the rear reversing camera itself so basically this is how it looks like simply very very clear and amazing itself and also the lexus park which i'm not too sure what that's about but overall a very very good car itself uh. so yeah um but i think all right then uh, let me just show you guys uh one more couple of things left if i end up my video itself basically another thing i've never seen other get go cars is you have the option to set the memory seat on the passenger side as well as you can lock it on the passenger side itself so let's say you do not want people to get in or the driver is not going to lock the car for you you can actually pre press it on the passenger side itself so yeah which is a very very good thing uh next thing which i want to show you guys, which i promise you i didn't show you just now is the uh steering wheel on how to adjust the steering wheel itself so we have to do so just need to press on this oh yeah go down go up 
all the way back all the way front that's how it look like itself so yeah next up we got these seat controls right here which i don't think that i can show you guys but i try my best basically you got the seat controls right here itself to just the height of the seat the and the rear armrest itself and this is for your lumbar support itself so yeah and also got this seat which i think should be the same thing for the I think this should prob I'm not too sure what the feature is but probably I think I will figure it out myself but you could technically also I think this you could move the seat slightly forward but I have to try that feature out later on when I get out of the car but I'll update you I on that I think that's all I have to say for this video is itself if you guys enjoy the video you can always click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click the subscribe and click my two other videos and with that I'll see you guys in my next video peace